In this video, let's learn about the safe area view component in React Native. To save us some time, I'm going to copy paste code for the app component and walk you through the same. First, we have the imports for view, text, and style sheet. Next, we have the app component as the default export. For the JSX, we have an outer view container, an inner view box, and a text component. The component displays welcome as the text. For the container, we have flex set to 1 to make use of the full available space and the background color of plum. For the inner box, we have a simple padding of 20 pixels in all directions. Finally, for the text, there is a font size of 24, font weight bold, and text align center to center align the welcome text. If you follow the series till now, this code should seem familiar. Ultimately, we have a component that renders welcome on the screen. If we save the file and take a look at iPhone 14 and Pixel 4 devices, you can see we have a problem. We see the welcome text on Android, but on iOS device, we don't see any text. Now we might think there is an issue with rendering the text component on iPhone 14, but that is not the case. The issue is that the text is hidden behind the notch. Android is completely fine, but the iOS device has a problem. If we add a top padding to the container, save the file, we can now see the text on both the devices. But this does not feel like the right solution, does it? We now have unnecessary space at the top for Android. And to make this worse, we might have a new device releasing this very year where the notch might be at a different place. What we need is a way to figure out what is the safe area for a given device and render our application only within that view. That is exactly what the safe area view component is for. Import it from React Native and wrap your entire JSX with safe area view. To make sure the view occupies the entire available space, add safe container flex set to 1. And on the component, style is equal to styles.safeContainer. The purpose of safe area view is to render content within the safe area boundaries of a device. It applies padding to reflect the physical limitations of the screen, such as rounded corners or camera notches. If we save the file, we can clearly see that our application is now rendered in the safe area view, which avoids the notch at the top and the curve at the bottom. Of course, this doesn't look great. We have white spacing at the top and bottom. To fix this, simply apply the same background color as your container to the safe area view. So background color, plum. Let's also remove the padding top, which we don't need anymore. If we take a look at the UI, you can see it is much better. Ideally, safe area view is a topic that I should have covered in core components section, but we did need an understanding of styling, layouts, and more importantly, understand the need to adapt user interfaces based on the device. I hope you are now able to easily understand the what, why, and how of safe area view. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.